Today, I put Team USA's roster in their prime, and I'm giving myself five seasons to put together a squad that can beat this USA team. The team I'm going to be running with is the Oklahoma City Thunder. They've got good young players, they've got draft picks, they seem like the perfect team to go with. But even with a good young team like this, it would be almost impossible to beat Team USA. So we do have a couple rule changes that should help me. First of all, salary cap is going to be off. And you might be thinking, man, that's overpowered. But I am going to limit myself. I can only sign three players who are 85 overall or higher throughout the entirety of this video. Also, untouchables are going to be off in this video. Typically, in a 2K simulation, a player like Victor Wembanyama would be untouchable, meaning it's impossible to trade for him. But today, that's not going to be the case. I can trade for any player in the league as long as I put together a good enough trade package that the other squad is willing to accept. Now that all that talking's out of the way, we can jump straight into it. I don't want to make any trades off the jump. I want to wait until the trade deadline to make my moves because I feel like then teams are going to be more willing to work with me. And I don't need to rush it. I've got five seasons to beat the Lakers. I know I'm not going to be able to beat them this year. So I'm going to take my time, find the right trades, and hopefully we can eventually beat this LA squad. We've actually got a matchup with them right here. And what a surprise, we lost by 40. So far, the Team USA Lakers have only lost one game all season. This is going to be a challenge. All right, we're a little over halfway through the season and we're 32 and 13. Pretty solid, right? The only issue is the Lakers with all those Team USA players are 44 and 3. So I got to make some trades. And the first player I want to go after is Victor Wembanyama. He was giving Team USA problems yesterday in the gold medal game, so we need him. The only problem is it's going to take a lot to get him. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to offer Chet and J-Dub, and even then they're going to say no. I'm going to have to throw in first round picks to top this trade off. Four first, and we still don't have a deal. I might just have to mess around and offer the whole team. I know this seems crazy, but trust me, it's going to be worth it if we can get Victor. Here's the offer. Wow. I'm going to throw in two picks to top it off, and we still don't have a deal. So we might have to double back on Wembenyama later. How about we call up the Nuggets about the Joker? Again, I'm going to have to offer up essentially the whole team, except for Shea. I want to keep Shea. And they're going to say no. I'm going to throw in a couple picks. Still no deal. All right, we got to go get some more valuable picks because right now, teams are not working with me. We're going to trade Lou Dort for Mike Conley in a first. Then we're going to trade Mike for Vando in a first. I heart, I'm sorry I didn't want to trade you, but we're going to trade him for Drummond in a pick. And now we've acquired quite a few first rounders. So I want to call up a garbage team and try and trade for their pick because I feel like if we have a bad team's pick and we offer that in a trade... That's going to be enticing to other squads. So let's call up the T-Wolves. They're bad because they don't have Anthony Edwards anymore. And boom, we get their three-star first rounder. I bet the Heat are pretty bad because they don't have Bam. Oh, I guess not. Let me just check the standings and see who's bad. That'd be easier, wouldn't it? The Houston Rockets have won 12 games. Get them on the phone. We want your all's pick. Oh, they don't have their pick right now, but they have the Nets pick, which is dumb valuable. We're going to offer them Caruso and Vanderbilt. They can throw me a couple of their worst players here. I don't think this is going to work. Yeah, they say no, but we do have some first rounders I'm willing to offer. I'll throw in a Sixers top five protected, a Clippers pick, and boom. Now we have two picks that are incredibly valuable for the upcoming draft. So even if we don't get a trade done now, we can work on one later. And trust me, these picks will still be valuable in the offseason. How about we do these first and J-Dub? Wow, the Spurs are driving a tough bargain, huh? Huh. And then I'm going to throw in some of our other future picks. Is this still not going to work? Golly. Am I going to have to throw in Chet? They say no to Chet. All right. I'll do Chet, J-Dub. Y'all throw me Charles Bassey. Come on. Two first rounders to top it off. And finally, we did it. It took the whole team. Wemby, you better be good at basketball for us, man. 
because now the squad is completely depleted. We're going to have to get a lot more talent on our roster in the offseason. Now remember, I can go out and sign players in the summer. But this year's free agency class isn't too, too crazy. And I can only sign 385 plus players. I don't know if I want to waste one of my signings this summer. Because I feel like there could be better free agents down the line. Giannis becomes a free agent in three years. Luka in two. Yeah, I should be patient and play the long game with this. I don't think... I need to go out and sign anybody this summer. The only other thing I want to do before we simulate to the end of the season is trade some of our players who are on one-year deals. For example, Drummond. We can trade him for Olenek, who's on a two-year contract. If we have players on multi-year deals, we can move off of them in the offseason. And we'll probably be able to get quite a few first-round picks by doing that. So I want to make sure that we secure players who are under contract for multiple seasons. And I think we're all good on that now. So we can go ahead and simulate to the end of the year. This is going to be very challenging. Already it took almost the entire team to go get Victor Wembenyama. But Wemby is going to be a franchise franchise cornerstone and speaking of franchise cornerstones cooper flag is entering the league this summer and i'm not gonna lie to y'all i kind of want to draft him obviously we traded away those valuable picks to the spurs earlier so i would have to trade into the draft but that's definitely something i'm interested in doing season is over with luka Doncic wins mvp we gotta go get luka he's saying he wants to re-sign with dallas i was hoping we could go get him in free agency but if we have to trade for him i'll trade for him because he's gonna be a key piece the Lakers, with all the USA players, went 74-8. and eight. Honestly, that's not as good as I expected. I think we can get there. But right now, it's not going to happen. The Lakers sweep us. That's okay. I expected that. They go on to the finals and win the title. And B leads the way. They went 16-0 and 0 in the playoffs. All right, 2025 draft coming up. And like I said, I want Cooper Flag on the roster. I feel like this actually should be pretty easy. Here's the game plan. Who got the number one pick? It's the Magic. Sorry, Orlando. But here's what we're about to do. I'm going to say, give me the number one pick. I'll throw you a bunch of random players. I'm talking Kelly Olenek, Isaiah Joe, Jalen Williams. I don't really want to give him toe pitch, but I would for the first pick. Jock Landale. And we'll throw in Kenrich Williams. This should be a deal. Oh my gosh, the finesse of the century. And we'll go ahead and draft Cooper the Hooper. It says we also have other picks. We don't though. Okay, whatever. Welcome to the team, Cooper Flag. He comes in as an 80 overall. He's going to have four seasons to progress. So hopefully he can be in the 90s by then. Team options will pick all these up. Qualifying offers don't have any. And free agency. Like I said, I'm not wasting any of my signings on these players. Instead, I think I'm going to go sign a bunch of role players and probably try and flip them down the line. These role players can be very valuable. Trust me. There will be teams that want them. We go ahead and sign Tyus Jones, Caruso, Trey Murphy the third. You know what? We'll bring back Kelly Olenek. I guess his team ended up dropping him, so... You know what? You're welcome here. We'll also bring in Santi Aldama. And you know what? Let me throw out an offer to Dennis the Menace as well. We get Santi. We don't land Dennis. All right. That's where we're going to wrap up free agency. Over the summer, Wemby goes up to a 95. See, this is why we had to have him. I know we gave up a lot, but I think it's going to be worth it. We also have some of the guys we picked up this summer progressing, which is always good to see. A lot of those players are probably going to be a part of a star trade later down the line. Or at least they'll get traded for draft picks that we can use for a star trade. But we're going to go ahead and get this season started. I want to simulate to the deadline and see if there are any teams with good players that are struggling. I'm really hoping the Mavs or the Nuggets are struggling because I want to go get Jokic and Luka. We just beat the Lakers. Oh my goodness. What's their record right now though? They're 14 and 2. We're right behind them. Oh man. We're a little bit ahead of schedule. And trust me, I've got plans 
to stack up this roster. We got the Lakers again. Ah, oh, we lost that time. But we're only in year two, and I would say things are going pretty swimmingly. I'm not going to lie to you. Also, real quick, if you're enjoying the video so far, I'd really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 100K. I know I ask a lot, but it'd be really cool to have that YouTube plaque. So if you like the content, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. If you don't like it, it's cool. You don't got to subscribe. Even if you like it, I mean, you don't have to subscribe. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you. Ever since that great start to the season, we've kind of fallen off and the Lakers are cooking. They're 41-2 and two with all the Team USA players. They're on a 29-game win streak, dude. So we got to go get some more hoopers. John Morant could be a good option. The Grizzlies are struggling right now. The Mavs are doing pretty well. Did Lucas sign that new contract? He did. Oh, no. So I might have to delay the Luka trade for a bit because they're hoping. Nuggets are also playing well, so I'm going to have to delay the Joker trade. They got Jimmy. So our focus for this deadline is going to be John Morant. Let me see if there are any players in the East I want to go after. We could go after Jalen Brown. He'd be a good player to add because I know he's got some animosity towards Team USA after they didn't select him. They picked Derek White over him. So we might have to go get... Jalen Brown for this team. So I'm focused on JB and Ja right now. Let's call up the Celtics. We don't have a ton to offer right now. I don't know if they want this random collection of role players. So I think I'm going to go ahead and trade these role players for draft picks. And that'll probably be a bit more of an enticing offer. Can somebody give me picks, please? Dang it. Okay, there we go. We can get a first round pick for Gary Trent. We'll take it. Oh, there's a two and a half star pick for Caruso. Thank you, Bald Eagle. I bet we can get a good first for Tyus Jones as well. Or maybe we go get Rudy and Andre. This seems like a finesse, so we're going to do it. Hold on. We might be getting somewhere here because we can trade Rudy for playoff P. And then what happens if we take Paul George and a couple first? I feel like we could get some really good offers. Dang, I was hoping for some 90 plus players. Doesn't look like we're seeing any of those. What if we do Paul George Drummond in a pick? Drummond's got value. I mean, we could get Brandon Miller. I think the Celtics would prefer Brandon Miller over Paul George in a trade, but we have to trade this good pick. All right, I'm not doing that. Let's just call up the Celtics right now. See if we can work something out. Let's offer Paul George. He doesn't have crazy value but we do have that first round pick that's good and then we'll throw in a Celtics pick as well I can also give y'all Drummond and Case and Wallace or maybe we'll do Case and Wallace instead and then we'll throw in two more picks and a snow deal okay let's call up the Grizz instead then John Morant's only four and a half star value we're getting this trade done 100% let's do Paul George in this pick they say no we'll throw in Case and Wallace still no deal I feel like we're already close though if he's only got four and a half star value two more first no deal come on man three first ah all right let's go get a really valuable pick that seemed to be effective last time so we're gonna try it again the suns have only won eight games i'm gonna try and get their first rounder oh they don't have their first rounder who has the suns pick is it the nets or the rockets it's the nets that pick is four stars oh man I don't want to give up my two and a half star pick because I want to use that one, but I'll give up all my other picks to go get this four star first rounder. Come on, work with me, Brooklyn. Four first round picks. Dang it. This is a crazy offer. I'll throw in one more though. Come on, man. Can I throw them a player or does that not work? It does work. Let's do Case and Wallace. Boom. Okay, great. Now let's call up the Grizzlies. We got two really good first round picks to throw their way. We got this Suns four star. They're going to say no, but we got the two and a half star one. They still say no. Golly. And I got two more first round picks for you. Yes. All right. We got Ja. We slide shade of the two where he goes up. There's our big pickup for this year. We still have so much more work to do though. Do we have any good free agents this summer? Because I have three free agency signings to use and I definitely want to use those. We've got Paolo. If I could sign him out of restricted free agency, that would be huge. Who's got like two or three years left? Zion could be interesting. We would have to get him later though. Jokic would be like a dream free agency target. I might just have to trade for Joker. At least we already have a big three going here in OKC. But that Team USA squad has like a big 10. 
So we've got so many more players we got to trade for. I need Luka. I need Joker. So this summer, I'm going to have to be really locked in. Luka, you're going to be a member of the Thunder at some point, big dog. Gosh, the Lakers won 79 games. They're getting in a groove now. We won 62. Maybe we'll see him in the conference finals. Hold on. We might see him. We beat the Nuggets. They beat the Mavs. Here we go. Bro, our starting small forwards a 74. We're cooked. Game one, we'll go to the Lakers. We win game two. Hold on. Lock in. Game three. Ah, we lost. Do we shorten the rotation? Let's make it like an eight, man. Come on. Give us game four. We lost. It's over, isn't it? Yeah, we lost in five. All right. Oh, I'm so sorry, Detroit. Y'all made it to the finals just to get smacked. And be leading the way again. Yeah, this USA squad is going to be a problem to beat. But I think we all knew that. I'm not going to draft anybody else because we're already headed into year three. I don't think the draft is going to be beneficial. These players just simply won't have the time to develop into superstars. So Cooper Flag is probably going to be the only draft addition. I just noticed his contract is so big. I guess because salary caps off. I don't know. Now, I do want to go ahead and trade a few players on my roster for some additional draft capital that we can use down the line. We're going to need every pick we can get our hands on if we want to trade for all these superstars. Superstars. And this year, I've got my eye on a Luka Doncic or Nikola Jokic trade. Ooh, two first for Isaiah Stewart. That's huge. Then we can also trade some of these guys at the end of our rotation. Get a few more picks going here. Yep, there's two first rounders. Nice. Do we have any team options? We've got Wemby and Dylan Jones. Sure, we'll pick those up. Usman Dang is on the qualifying. All right, Paolo is restricted. He's getting about a million offers. I mean, I'll throw him an offer as well. I bet the Magic are matching. I mean, salary caps off. We're his second offer. That sucks. Imagine we got Chet back. I would use one of my signings on Chet. Chet's a big player. We don't land anybody though. Dang, man. But we can sign players who are below an 85, so I'll offer some of these other guys. They've already got quite a few offers, though, so yeah, we're not going to land anybody. Let's go John Collins, Jaden Ivey, Money Mitch. There you go. We signed a couple players. We'll also sign Keon Ellis, Vooch, Keldon. We need as many players as we can get, dude. Usman Dang got a three-year 90 mil. I'll match it because salary caps off. It doesn't matter. All right, we got a bunch of players we just signed, and I kind of want to try and do a big trade right now before the season even starts. Now, Jokic is on a stacked Denver team, so it's probably going to take a lot for me to get him, but I got to try. All right, let's call up the Nuggets right now. Nikola Jokic, come on, work with me here. We got a lot of picks, but none of them are incredibly valuable. They're not even going to like, look at this offer. They're going to laugh at me if I send this offer through, aren't they? The good news is all these players I'm offering do have decent value. So I think we can get something done, but we're going to have to trade up first. So for example, we take Jade and Ivy and John Collins in a pick and we go get somebody a little bit better. Also, I do want to mention I can't trade with the Lakers to make them worse. So I can't like steal their players just so y'all know. For example, let's go get OG and Mikael Bridges. That's a good move right there because we get some higher overall players, some good wings that I think teams would value, right? And I think we're going to do just OG Ananobi by himself along with two first round picks. I'm hoping we can get somebody who's like an 89. There's a Men Thompson and a two and a half star pick. That seems to be my best offer. Let's do it then. So now we've got a Men, Mikael Bridges and a good first round pick. We package all that together. We could get Dan but I don't really think that helps. What if we threw Cooper in the tray finder? I know that's crazy and the offers aren't even great. So I'm not going to do any of these. Seems like nobody wants to let go of their star players right now. So what I'm going to do is just stack up on some decent players to have for later down the line. So we'll go get Jaime Jaquez and Bruce Brown. Then we'll trade Keon Ellis, Bruce Brown and a pick. And we'll go get Io and Patrick Williams. These are all guys I think I could use later in trades. And then some of these other players I I need to trade for more picks because man we're gonna need picks that's the name of the game in these challenges there's a couple more firsts and you know what i might even trade pat williams to get a few more picks going there you go and then we'll trade terrence man and we should be good here yep yeah, there's two more firsts awesome so we got a decent little stockpile of picks we've got a good young up-and-coming team but we're already headed into year three they're saying i need to cut down the roster before we start the season oh wait that's the lakers roster i have them selected as a team just to make sure they don't trade anybody 
in case y'all were wondering. I'm not trying to cheat or anything. I just have them selected that way they don't trade any players off their roster because if they started trading players, that would defeat the whole purpose of the video. I also just want to make sure they keep all their players. All right, let's get this season going. I do expect us to be pretty good. Oh, we have Will Hardy as the coach now. I know Mark Dangle is usually a good coach in 2K, but Will Hardy's another good option, so that's fine with me. I could definitely see us winning 70 plus games this year, especially after the moves I'm making at the deadline. I've got very high hopes for the trade deadline. I'm hoping we can do something big. All right, we're about halfway through the season. We're 32 and 10. Lakers are 37 and 4. We're kind of on their tail. I mean, not really. But after these moves, we might be on their tail so checking out the standings in the west the nuggets aren't too crazy they're only a little above 500 so maybe we could go get Jokic. also the pels with zion aren't very good so we might try and make a move for big z celtics are struggling so we could go after jalen brown a lot of options have opened up as a result of me just being patient i want to start it off with the c's though i feel like jalen brown is one of our most realistic trade targets dang it i got the lakers selected let me go ahead and try that again let's call up the celtics about jalen brown we can offer them a men thompson who's a good young player they want Shea. Yeah, you're out of your mind, buddy. I will throw in Mikael Bridges, though. He's a good wing. They got Porzingis playing for $0. Y'all can throw me John Bull here. They say no. We got a Nets pick that's crazy. Hold on. This is a deal. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, let's throw in another pick. Still no deal. That's fine. We got another one for you. Boom. Oh, yeah. The team's coming together now. Just got to trust the process. Shout out Joel Embiid. We do got to re-sign Shea here on a new contract. And of course, I'm doing that. Salary cap's off. And do I have another big trade in me? That's the big question here. I think we could go get Z. I don't think we have enough to get Jokic. But Zion is realistic. We'll do Jaime Jaquez, Ayo DeSumo. Y'all just throw me one of your worst players here. Cool. They're going to say no to that. We have first, though. We got first for you. Don't worry. We'll throw in three first-round picks. They're going to say no. I got a fourth one with your name on it. Still no deal. Okay. I'm not going to give up on that trade just yet, though. We're going to take Jaime Jaquez, Ayo DeSumo, and a first. We'll throw those guys in the trade finder. And we can get Alex Saar and Kuzma. I feel like Saar is going to be a valuable player to other teams, especially if a team isn't performing well and they want a young guy to build with. He's probably a perfect piece. Then we take Kuz, a couple more first round picks, and we go get Klax and a two and a half star pick. That's a pick with good value. Then we'll take Klax and Thibel and we'll get nobody. Okay. Actually, I'm going to do this trade for Mikael Bridges. I believe Bridges goes up at the three. He does. And now I think we got an offer. We'll do Mikael Bridges, Alex Saar, that good pick. And now let's call up the Pelicans. Get them on the phone. This is a great offer. They say no to it. Don't worry, though. We got more picks we can throw in here. Two first, no deal. One more. Come on. Ah, I don't want to give up just yet, though. Let's do Mikael Bridges, two firsts here. I'm hoping we can get somebody who's like an 89. We could do Kobe White and Nas Reed. Wait, I don't want to give up that really good pick. I'll give up one of my other picks, though. We can go get Cam Thomas and Kuz. That's a good deal. Oh, yeah, we got a deal now for sure with the Pels. I've been saying that a lot, and then it doesn't work, but hopefully it works this time. All right, let's do Cam Thomas, Alex Saar, Kuzma. Y'all just throw me uh, some random players on your team. You can give me Shelton and throw me, like, Scottie Pippen Jr. They say no. I'll give you a two and a half star pick. And then we got another first. Come on. Come on, man. All right, then. I guess I'll hold on to these players for the off season. I actually need to trade Cam Thomas, though, because he's on a one year. We'll trade him for Mikael Bridges right back because he's on a four year. Then we'll take Alex Saar. Oh, wait, no. He's got a team option. I can keep him. Wait, before I trade Kuzma, I'm going to slide him to the three because he goes up to an 86. And now I'm going to trade Kuzma. Oh, he's got four years. Never mind, Kuz. We'll hold on to you. I wanted to make more moves, but I'm happy with the trade for JB. Who's in free agency this year? Because we can still sign three more players, and I've signed nobody so far in this video trey young bro are you serious i guess i could go after trey just because 
I guess I'm going to try and sign Trey because these guys just keep re-signing with their teams. I might as well try and get somebody. Oh, mama, when Binyama, Victor wins the MVP award. LeBron DPOI. Lakers won 77. Dude, we won 66, which is fine. But dude, we still got so much more work to do. Round one, we got the Nuggets. And we lose to the Nuggets in seven. We can't even get past other teams in our conference, much less the Lakers. Draft lottery coming up. I think we had a pick, right? Bro, the Celtics got so many good picks from that Jalen Brown trade. Whatever, it's fine. But now that it's the offseason, I want to lock in, try and make some big moves. Let me see where we're at. We don't really have many picks, so we got to replenish on those. We have a couple decent role players like Kuz, Bridges, Sar that we could look to trade. We're not in a bad spot at all. It's just not where we need to be. You know what I mean? We got to pay Wemby this summer as well. So that's, of course, going to be a huge priority. We'll give him all the money he wants. And I really want to try and sign Trey Young just because it seems like we aren't going to have many better options. And we're headed into our fourth year. But our chances of landing Trey Young are basically zero. Because look at this. Do we go after Kawhi? You know what, bro? I might be the only one crazy enough to give Kawhi a four-year deal. But it's only because I'm about to trade him. Oh my gosh, he won't even come here. And I've used all my offers for the day. All right, let's match Wembenyama. At this point, I got to start paying free agents. Because, man, we're running out of time. I'll offer Jimmy. I'll offer a man here. Jimmy, take this big old bag. Come on, man. Yes, okay, we got a player. We get Jimmy Butler. We match Wembenyama. And then we're just going to sign some players who are below 84 overall. We land MPJ. We land Dylan Harper. Dylan Harper's usually super valuable. Oh, that might be huge. That might be a game changer for us. Hold on. We'll get JP too, just for funsies. For funsies is crazy. All right, so we got Jimmy, Bridges, Kuz, Sar, Harper. We have so many players we can trade right now. It's time. We gotta go get Jokic or we gotta go get Luka. Luca's Mavs aren't even that crazy right now. He doesn't have a second star. I will offer you Jimmy Butler, Mikael Bridges as well. They say no to that. That's fine. I got coups for you. I'll throw in Alex Sara. I don't care. I'll throw you MPJ too. Come on. I'll throw in a C's first. Bro. Dylan Harper too. Finally. Oh my gosh. I just got fleeced. All right. And then Luca's going to play the small forward. Does that mean Brown comes off the bench? I didn't think this through. Whatever, that's fine. And then also, I'm gonna go sign a few more players because that was huge for us. Just having those players, we could just throw in the trade. That was awesome. Okay, so we get Luka Doncic. Absolute game-changing addition. Now, is there any way we get Jokic as well? I don't think we have the trade assets, but it doesn't hurt to try. Nikola Jokic will offer you a Sar Thompson. I have to give Cooper as well. If we have any chance... At getting joker it's gonna have to be with cooper flag i'll throw you all these players and do we have a deal no okay who else is even out there because a lot of the best players in the league are on the usa squad we could go Giannis. i don't know how good the bucks are i'll offer him cooper flag asar thompson zach levine jordan Poole, Derek jones and knee smith come on boom boom all right, bro, we're getting somewhere. So the starting five is Josh, Shea, Luka, Giannis, Wemby. Bench is Jalen Brown, a six man. The bench definitely needs some work. And we are headed into the fourth season of this video. So next off season is going to have to be massive. We need at least a nine man rotation we can trust. If we can get that done, I really think we can beat this USA team. Matter of fact, we got USA on our schedule early in the season. I want to see how this match up goes all right here we go team usa we won by 13 we're just barely behind them in the standings too we might actually do this by the way for this year's trade deadline i don't really plan on doing anything where we're really gonna do damage is the off season Remember, we can still sign two players who are 85 overall or higher for the final season. And it looks like Zion will be a free agent. We could maybe also go after Alperen Sangoon. Also, John Morant is set to hit free agency for us, and he's not saying anything about his contract. So I'm concerned about that. Hopefully, he wants to resign, because if he doesn't, that could definitely throw a major wrench into things. We're number one in the conference right now. We're better than the Lakers. Oh my goodness. 
maybe we do it this year all right you know how i said i wasn't gonna make any trades that was a lie because right now we are outperforming the lakers and i feel like the only thing we're missing is a few more decent bench pieces and we have a few first so i might as well try to get those guys jalen suggs and cat Oh my gosh, let's do it. I know that Warriors pick was valuable. Do I care about picks right now? Not at all. We could use a backup center. Let's see if we can find one. We got a two and a half star Celtics pick. We're going to use that to get Keegan and Malik Monk. I understand. Neither one of those guys are centers, but that's fine. We're going to trade Keegan, a first round pick and also Tumani Kamara, and go get that center we're looking for. It's Jalen Duran. Boom. All right. Now we've got a 10-man rotation of Josh, Shea, Luka, Giannis, Wemby, Jalen Brown, Cat, Jalen Suggs, Jalen Duran, and Malik Monk. If that isn't a team that can beat Team USA, I don't know what team can. But even if we lose, don't worry. I'm going to keep trying, and we'll be able to add more players over the offseason. Season is almost over with. We got the Lakers, and we lost by 50. Well, that's not a good sign. I was hoping that would be a game where we kind of get warmed up for the playoffs. Go ahead and show the Lakers, hey, y'all should be scared. Team USA, y'all are about to take an L because we just beat you. But they smacked us by 50. So that, that's definitely not good. But we are still the number one seed. I am confident in the team headed into the postseason. Will Hardy, he was coaching up a storm out there. The Lakers only went 72-10. and 10. Maybe they just have too much talent. Their team doesn't fit together the way our does round one we take care of the san antonio spurs round two we're gonna take care of the pels as well and here's our matchup with the lakers i mean i feel like our starting fives are pretty evenly matched it doesn't get much better than this a crazy collection of talent game number one of the series will go to us we win by over 20 oh man they'll take game two okay but we win game three and four we did it we beat team usa i put together a squad that could beat team usa in the finals we got the Cavs. of course we beat them oh my goodness we did it i hope y'all enjoyed the video if you did be sure to like and subscribe have a great day and i will see you guys in the next one peace